everybody. Welcome to another exciting edition of... Wait, it's not another exciting edition of the AMA. It's actually another exciting episode of Ergo Pulse. And I know we haven't had these uh, out for a little bit. You know, we've been kind of, you know, with our heads down doing stuff. We do other stuff besides hang out on YouTube. But anyway, we have a brand new Ergo Pulse for you. And with me, with me, back by popular request from the AMA uh, this week, uh, is none other than uh, QX Parentheses. Say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. It's such a pleasure to be here today. Um, I totally wasn't roped into doing this with some sort of thinly veiled threat or anything like that. I totally am here mm-hmm. on my own accord. Um, and I just want to say that there's no replacing the great Joe Armenio, but I did want to channel him. So I put a kind of crockpot esque device behind in my background just to give you guys that atmosphere so you'd feel comfortable. Give Mick that kind of feeling of being here with Joe. You know, mm-hmm. I, I wanted to keep the flow going. Mick, Mick, Mick is here. Yeah, he's <laughs> over there to the left. Here. We were talking to him before. Hey, well, he's, he's, yeah, I guess. Okay, I am here. No, I'm, wait, this thing is in reverse. Anyway, this is going to confuse the shit out of me. Anyway, <laughs> okay, so, so thank you for your crock pot uh, or cr- crack, crack pot. No. <laughs> anyway, anyway. anyway. Th- thanks, 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 QX. Sh- should I say QX or QX parentheses? Is that is that QX? Is, QX is there is a special fine, way of Dan. saying that? No, no, you can say you can say just okay. QX. That's great. Yeah, can it be like Q Men X? What you really want? <laughs> say what you really want. No. Okay. Anyway, let's just QX. I'll so take listen, whatever you give me, Dan. We That's have fine. our guest is none other than Mick. From Blitz. Hello. He's back, ladies and gentlemen. He's back. Say hi to everybody, Mick. What's going on, everybody? Good to be back. Good to be here. Good to be present. Good to be seen. And good to feel comfortable with QX's pot in the background. Can't beat that. (laughs) It's from Peru. Whenever we think of QX, we think of pot in the back. (laughs) Yeah, pot in the background. Good. So, so I've developed a technique um, when I'm asked to be in videos like 12 hours before they're recorded. Um, my technique is to not study anything about the guest and act like a dumb, you know, first time viewing things and first time mm. being introduced to these kind of things. So maybe that'll give me a pathway to questions that somebody else watching for the first time will ask as well. And we can have that mixed with daniel's beautiful mind and expertise on almost every subject on earth so i figured that might be a good combination to try no no, not almost not almost every every subject on earth every okay i know it i know everything (laughs) but everything (laughs) hey guys hang on one second i gotta gotta kick leo out of here because he's gonna try to torture my shirt Oh, Dan took the suspenders off. I hope Andy leaves us in. Uh, dude, there was a lot going on at the start. It was really funny, man. Because I was like, oh, we got the pot. Now we just need the dis- the suspenders and an axe. Sugar gliders back here. And, and Dan's like, I'm actually wearing suspenders. I'm like, no, you're not. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he put them up over his shoulders. You can't make this shit up. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, <laughs> Poor since Aunt. I got suspenders on. Um, All right. We got this. I'm gonna break out. I'm gonna. I'm gonna break out the banjo. You want me to break out the guitar? We're just gonna start composing music. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Welcome on. to Ergo Pulse. <laughs> Let's compose. Let's compose. No, no, I'm just. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No, no, no deliverance. He's gone. Q-X, no deliverance. Gone. You, you actually get something in his. Oh god. Oh god. Man. Okay. I'm putting it away. I'm putting it away. <laughs> I'm putting so, it away. He's opening his. <laughs> uh, this thing is out of tune, man. Holy this thing is out of tune. I can't even have a duet now. Jesus. Oh, boy. Yeah, you done it now. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Johnny Cash. Uh, 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 let's see. What do we have? All right. Like Breaking out the Beatles. You want to sing Dan? <clears throat> yeah. 
just yeah. the intro to these. You should just make on Ergo Pulse in a dead of the night. <laughs> Wait, where's your banjo? Yo, what's your I thought we were mind. playing. I didn't learn to fly. I as thought we were were playing. As you were it's taking out power. yours, he was putting his away. <laughs> I get scared. I get scared. He went for it like so, like intensely. Like he was like, I wanted to shut out my nose. Oh, all right. Here we go. Wow. Right, Water let's... up your nose. Oh. All right. Okay. Listen, listen. I think oh. we made Mick uncomfortable enough to really start. I think we loosened him up. Yeah. I, I think feel we great, him up. guys. I mean, truly, it's... either loosen him up or tense him up so much that he wants to be like, how the hell do I break out of this? box yeah. that i'm in right now <laughs> anyway mick 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 so, so so i know you've been up to a lot okay you're in the second year now you're moving into the second year you got a nice big team yep. uh you did a bunch of developments new developments you did a chat system uh you're you got some partnerships coming kind of get, listen give us give us kind of a tell us what's up yeah yeah i can i can hit on a, a few highlights so we we last spoke about 10 months ago and uh, since then, a lot has happened for sure. Uh, one of the things that happened was we pretty much doubled the number of artists we had on the team. Uh, we released a website. We released different versions of the game that people have been playing and helping play test, which is kind of cool. We've completed Ergo integration. We've partly completed Cardano integration. We've been speaking with Nervos to integrate with Nervos. Uh, and thinking about Rosenbridge, we've been thinking about releasing a first of its kind token that has a fair launch instead of what is typically done. Um, closed economy token, it's something that I don't think has ever been done before for uh, any kind of cryptocurrency video game. Lots of stuff, guys. I mean, just so much stuff that honestly, uh, I could look down, look down my list, but uh, charity events, I mean all sorts of stuff we've, we've been doing and it's been a lot of fun and a, and a huge learning experience for me as well well mick i'm a little confused because you know with all those things you're spouting off if you were like a triple a game dev company you'd be on season five of the release already <laughs> i mean yeah. <laughs> yeah that's right that's right yeah god i wish man yeah blitz blitz is uh still all self-funded i haven't needed to uh go to any to get any vc style funding just yet um Still keeping it all in house. All the decision making is my own, and the focus is still on the game. I uh, still haven't sold a single thing in two years. Haven't haven't sold a single pack. Haven't sold a single NFT uh, aside from charity and donation purposes. And they weren't even my own NFTs. They were NFTs that the Ergo community created of characters in Blitz to then sell for charity uh, and for the Ergo Foundation as like a, a development fundraiser. Um, so there's a uh, there's a lot going on, but you know my bank account definitely feels it from time to time. That's for sure. <laughs> mm. I can tell you all about you know all about that. Quite a bit of what I'm doing <laughs> sure. is being self funded now, yeah. and and my crypto wallet just keeps like <laughs> you know if it could punch me in the face, it would. <laughs> yeah, man. Basically, basically, yeah, yeah. So listen, I mean, building in and well, in the in this market, I mean, in this you know, shit show that we've been in for the past two years. Uh, and, and it's kind of funny. People are like, oh, no, no, we're, you know, we're just in the, in, the, in the beginning of the bear market. I'm like, guys, just take it easy with all the bearish bullshit. Just, 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 we're, we're already, we're already down enough. <laughs> we don't have to go into the dirt for us to, you know, start getting back into the positive. It's okay. It's okay. You're, you're savvy enough. You, 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 you you're all, anyway, building in a bear market is not easy it's it's you when you build but if you are self-funding especially it's not easy and so yep. i mean tell us a little bit about of uh, i mean so kind of okay so um as far as from from where we left you mm -hmm. whatever 10 months ago mm -hmm. up until now um i mean tell us tell us the big things that you built and that you're really excited about um and again, I kind of you kind of went over a few of these, but just dig into the stuff that really excites you the most. It excites me the most. Well, and how and yeah. how you've um you've got a few things in here that you've integrated with Ergo as well, specifically recently. So yeah, that'd be good to sprinkle those in too. Yeah, and I can even at some point where it makes sense, I'll share my screen and I'll actually show you guys a little bit of that. Yeah, well, maybe we'll just start there. So one of the things, I mean, do you all you all mind if I share my screen? You want to see some stuff? Oh, we want to see it. Have some have some fun. Oh yeah. Oh, so, show it. You know, one of the things show it off. Yeah, one of the one of the things we did that I'm super excited about that I mentioned is 
uh, we launched a website and this is, you know, this isn't Wix or WordPress. This is like custom coded from the ground up style website, which as I learned, uh, if you don't appreciate web-based development, you should, because it's quite hard. And I've had to bring in people who are much smarter than me to, to help me uh, successfully do this. That being said, so I just logged in uh, very quickly there to my one of my Blitz accounts and clicking this connect button, uh, something will appear that most people will be familiar with probably watching this video, which is a Nautilus wallet confirmation. And that is as easy as it is to connect your Ergo wallet to your Blitz account and you're done. And that's that. So, so there's, there's your first demo. Um, and so now, uh, and I can, you know, I don't mind sharing this. This is just a test wallet here. Uh, anybody who joins the Discord can do this themselves. Um, if you go to Ergo Falset, you can get some of these tokens for free. They basically you put in your wallet address, and the faucet will send you WT Ada, WT Erg, Kushti, and Ergold. And I actually have programmed into the game build right now uh, a way for these tokens to become trading cards in Blitz. So what I want to show you all at some point, but you know why not just go for it? Uh, this is an active build of Blitz. Of course, it's a development build. There's your email address again. Um, we'll sign in here. And if I come over to, let's just make a new deck. I'm moving quick, but that's because there's a ton of videos out here. You'll immediately notice um, that we have those WT Kushti and WT Erg and W and Gold or Golds in here somewhere. Uh, but I can just very quickly demonstrate for you. So this is, you know, WT Ada. You have 500 of these. So you're like, well, you know, that better match the amount you have in, in your wallet. And it sure does, right? So here's WT Ada. There's 500. And so, like, that's fully integrated, right? Like, you don't really need much more than that for a video game. Um, so we'll start with that guys and I'll, I'll pause there so we can get back to some discussion, but that's like a, that's like a very real demo of, of this working. So first I just got to say, Mick, you know, I, I know, I know you got all this new stuff, but I just got to say again, I love the art. Yeah. Like, I love it. Beautiful. It Beautiful. is. It is so cool. Thanks, man. It is so cool. I mean, kudos on that. And, and you just keep going with it too. Brian. You know, the, the, like the interface, the UI, I mean, it's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. I love it. Thanks. Thanks. It's come a long okay. way, dude. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it, well, listen, you always had really great art, but I mean, that UI, I mean, it's just, it's, it's just beautiful. Um, you know, it, 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 it kind of reminds me of, and, and it's a good thing. It reminds me of like kind of like old Sierra games. That's right. In a way. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, there's a lot of a lot of inspiration but, yeah. drawn. Betrayal at Crandor, those old games. Yeah, yeah, like Heroes Quest. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Kind of feels like Heroes Quest. I might have to yeah, mention yeah, yeah, the yeah, white yeah. paper. Uh, there's a few older yeah. games mentioned in the white paper that I drew inspiration from Battle Forge, stuff like that. Um old old warhammer titles and old card games that people don't play anymore but i've always i always like the aesthetics of those like old old um old hearthstone before it got too complicated that type of stuff yeah yeah no it's 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 just great i mean i i, I love it i love it there's there's no way you know there's no way this is not going to be appreciated when it's done it just there's no way i i just don't i, don't, I just don't see i mean it, yeah anyway anyway thanks qx so so with uh with you know with um uh in real life card trading games or yeah. card games where you're playing you're at the table you're playing your games the cards are in your possession they're on the table they're yeah. they're there yeah with with a cryptocurrency based blockchain game uh i could be playing my cards and have them out on the table and then potentially trade them in the back of ground. Is there, does your game have a way to verify that once I've laid them on the table there in my deck and I'm playing with them in that moment, I'm not trading them at the same time? Yeah. What's, what's your mechanism there? Yeah, that's a good question. So it wouldn't happen in the match itself, which, I mean, really is no harm, no foul to anybody involved in that particular match. Um, because technically you start at the match while you still own the card. The matches only last three to six minutes, probably, like maybe a little longer than that, but... On average, I'm estimating around five to six minutes, I suppose. Uh, but as soon as that match is over, when you go to start another skirmish is what we're calling it, when you go to start another online multiplayer match, it just simply requeries your Ergo wallet, and then it checks against the deck that you've assembled. 
to ensure that you're not lying about the cars that you say you have. Uh, and then it'll just throw a warning to say, hey, you know, you, you no longer have XYZ cards and confirm through it if that's okay. Or if you don't have enough cards in your deck because you did that, you won't even be able to use the deck. So there's like a 10 card minimum. Um, all that is is already in place too. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. If I could demo that, but I think I didn't want to go into too much of a demo. But like if I were to disconnect my wallet right now and log back in and then go to that deck, all those cards would be grayed out. And if they were actually in my deck, they would already be removed out of my deck. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. How many people do you have on working for you or working with you or, or are you cooperating with our co Yeah, the team now is, uh, we've, we've worked and continue to work with about 20 people. Um, so there's around, <sighs> yeah, there's anywhere at any given time between, you know, 10 to 15 artists. But, uh, you know, another big update for us is almost all card art needed for release has been completed. Um, so we're releasing now over 170 cards because we're doing a little thing with Hosky to put them in the game, um, which we can talk about in a little bit. It's a passion of mine to, to do cross project stuff, but it'll be 172 cards at release of which um, probably about 95% of all card artwork is done now. Now, of course, that's a major expense, as you might imagine. This, this is an AI art. This is like hand drawn um, by people, some of them very much professional illustrators and like one of my guys got signed to a comic book uh, studio and like all sorts of interest and stuff. And, and I respect these people a lot, but the artists, um, one thing I'm going to do for them is on the website, once we release our collections page, uh, I've noticed on all these other gaming websites that have all this awesome art, they never let people find out who the artist is for the art. You notice that whenever you look at something, in blockchain you never see who the artist is no one ever shouts them out so like one of the filters next to everything else it's going to say artist and if you click uh, i don't know if you click ben you're going to get all of ben's art right and you're going to know who he is you're going to have his twitter so you can go check him out because i want to do that for my team um, that's a bit of an aside but but yeah lots of artists um one web developer uh that's that's pretty much full-time on commission clarence he was our composer but now we have like all eight music tracks need it already produced and released that on the YouTube to consume. But um, so he's not doing much with this anymore. Max is still doing all the beautiful UI you see on the website in the game. So he's our primary UI guy. I've been working with him for almost two years now. Um, we're, and we're bringing on uh, who I, I know you all will be very much familiar with LGD, um, who is a, a exceptional, exceptionally talented. Yeah. Ergo script developer. Um, who I have a, 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 I have a lot of respect for him. I've spent many hours on the phone with him um, over over the years now, and we just got reengaged to um, do something that's never been done before. So I'm I'm pretty excited about that too. Yeah, LGD <laughs> is the real deal. He's I the mean, real deal. That, 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 he's also helping me out as well. He's that's working, what he I'm said. With that's him what well. he said. He said he's going to do some intern. I'm like, dude, that's awesome, man. Like, good for you. You deserve it. Yeah, yeah. I know, and and. You know, and, and, and the thing about it is, you know, um, a lot of these guys like LGD, you know, he's still in school. Yeah, dude. And the guy, yeah, you know, dude. the guy is the guy is out there writing, you know, writing this production production code for, uh, you know, for, for our projects, yeah. you know, making these things happen for us. And the guy's still in school. He's wild, man. And, he was like in finals when we spoke this past crazy. week. He was in finals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Same, 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 same here. Yeah, same here. Team, here. Man, that's, yeah, that's no. funny. Yeah, exactly. Because well, yeah, he was probably talking to me at yeah. the same time as you. Yeah, because yeah. he was he, he was like, "Hey, Dan, yeah, I got I got to sign off right now. I got to go take my it's whatever finals. final." Like, yeah. okay, cool. He's a cool dude, man. Yeah, I respect him a lot. I respect him a lot. But we we weren't able to do what we had wanted to do um, earlier on in the project, and uh, you know, we don't need to talk about all that. But basically, there was a little bit of a change in direction, and I always wanted to work with them on something because um, he's just yeah, he's able to execute better than a lot of people i think in the space like he's yeah. he, he knows what he's doing he's on top of it but you know that because you've been talking to him too so that's enough of an ego boost. yeah yeah no we've been, we've been pumping him up on this on this call he doesn't need much more he's, he's gonna, gonna charge you more Mick. i You're know get... i'm not screwing myself dude <laughs> yeah and then and then and then i'd sent him you know um i sent him some of my code so he had mm. to torture himself by trying to trying to make sense of the crap that i wrote so oh, boy. yeah yeah the, the guy the guy is 
the guy's probably on on, on the edge right now. Um, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's. I mean, it's great to have support from the community, you mm -hmm. know. And this this community. That's what I keep saying, and I say this on social media quite a yeah. bit, and I, I truly mean it. This community is great, you know. Yeah. This this is what it's all about. Um, you know, the support that you get, the that actually brings me to my to 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 to, to what I wanted to ask you. So, um, you were saying that you made some partnerships, right, within mm -hmm. the community and mm -hmm. even you know cross chain, mm -hmm. uh, working on uh, you know working on your projects. C c can you can you tell us a little bit more about what these are? You were talking about some doing something with Hosky. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe just uh, you're doing something with Fo. Mm -hmm. Um, just tell us a little bit more about these partnerships. Yeah, Fo. We'll start with Fo. Fo's Fo's. I consider a friend of mine, and um, I think Ergnomes is very much appreciated in the community. So I For wanted sure. them represented in Blitz. Oh yeah. Um, that's more I would say just like a direct artist relationship, frankly. So I I consider him like part of the team to some respect. Um, so yeah, he actually drew. Uh, four cards for sort of our cyberpunk theme set. So these are like robotic mecha gnomes um, that will be represented in Blitz proper. And I, he did a really, really nice job with them. Super colorful. Honestly, they look a little different than his normal stuff. So I think it, for me, I was like really appreciative because I'm like, this is cool, man. You know, thank you for, uh, you know, making these special, even I would say arguably more special than, than some of his other sort of iterations that I've seen. So it meant a lot to me that he would do that. Um, so that's Fo. Uh, Hosky is a newer one. That just is is something that. So Blitz, you know, my passion. I've told you guys, and and many people in the community. Uh, I'm, I hate the way you know blockchain gaming is currently perceived. Um, very uh, uh, open about that, and you know one of the reasons is because it's just a greed fest. It's really all about people making money. Uh, if I don't make as, any money off of Blitz, it, it wouldn't matter to me. It's almost like writing a book. In fact, if I don't like the game when I'm done, I probably won't even release it, which is why I'm not selling anything. That's that's the, my more my mentality as a person. But one of my passions is is using the blockchain in the way that it was meant it was meant to be used, which unfortunately for many, at least in the context of gaming, it's not this like one of fifty, you know, super monkey NFTs that if you have monkey and I have monkey and they're the same monkey in practicality, your monkey's worth a thousand dollars and mine's worth a dollar. That's not conducive for games. It's stupid actually for a video game. No gamer wants to pay a thousand dollars for something that they could also get for 50 cent. That's ridiculous. So like Blitz, Blitz doesn't really use your typical NFT approach. It uses a token approach. And and I don't want to get too much into that for for the sake of everybody, but um, welcome to join the Discord if you want to talk to me about it or, or connect with me otherwise. But the the idea is very simply that a token based approach makes it very easy to integrate with anybody else's stuff, anybody else's stuff, because the IDs are are more easy, uh, more standardized, and they're more easily interoperable with with Blitz. So a good example is Hosky, actually. So Hosky, um, the way Cardano. Uh, NFTs and actually tokens work is uh, if you're doing it the right way, there is sort of like a parent ID. So in Blitz, very simply, um, if your Cardano wallet has within it one of any Hosky NFT or one of any Hosky token, you will unlock two cards. That's cross chain, right? That's just, that's it, it doesn't have to be super complicated to integrate projects. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to cost anything. It won't cost anything except the fact that you already own something. So, like, if people were to think more like that, in my opinion, you could people. I think gamers would really start to see the benefit of blockchain. Like, oh, like, oh, now I kind of see why it's important. Like, now I see why this could be cool because you know, if if people start designing games in a way that was were more were more open, um, now all of a sudden your game could be taking things from all sorts of other places. Right. And just like making this really mm -hmm. cool ecosystem. So anyways, that's, that's a long winded tangent, but uh, I'm very passionate about that. So this is a, this is like the first real example of that, um, that I'm going to show everybody, like how easy it is to do something like that. If you're not focused on uh, making money right out the gate, like you can just do this to do it. And it's very easy. Very, very easy. I did it in 15 minutes. It took me 15 minutes. I, all I did was I Googled Hosky. I found the policy ID. 
I met, I added Hosky on Twitter. I said, are these the two IDs you use? He's like, yep. And I sent him a picture of it. You can see the whole thread. It took 15 minutes. 15 minutes. You sure yeah, he was yeah, that, being truthful? He wasn't that, rugging you? Well, you know, they always say they, they are, they're against utility. And I said, well, too bad, because <laughs> now you have some. <laughs> and so all, all the little Hosky knights, you know, came in. It was kind of funny. They're no, like, no, no. You, <laughs> yo, you, you screwed them up real good now. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like, damn you. <laughs> you know, I, and and I, I know we made this point before, but I really like your thinking. You know, I really like this. That, that you really understand. I mean, th this is actually, I mean, personally, and, and I mean, I kind of also said this before, mm -hmm. but I don't really want to rag too much yeah. on this because I know yeah. it's still in yeah. its infancy. But, I mean, look, to be honest, 95% of all blockchain gaming right now is stupid. It, 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 it just, it's stupid. I'm sorry. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's not real gaming. Yep. It is just basically way to get free shit. Yep. Uh, it, th th that's all it is. You know, I mean, you see these games and it's like, what is this? What, 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 what are we back, back 15 years and like, what, what, what is this shit? Yep. Like, I mean, like, you know, and, and really they don't care. You know, it's like, mm -hmm. oh, well, you have to jump over uh, two, you know, two mushrooms and eat and eat a magical apple and you yep. earn. Or you don't even have to play. Or you points. don't even have to play. It's just an auto battler. It just, you know, and that's that's probably gonna burn a lot of bridges, but you don't even gotta play the game, right? Like that's not gaming. Exactly. And and you know, and and then like all these, you know, like uh, you know, I did I I said this, you know, like a few weeks ago. I uh, I was kind of you know breaking balls a little bit about this, and yeah, I put out this uh, you know, gif of, of Pong, you know. Yep. Like some some of these guys, you know, putting out new games that look like that. Yep, and, and it's actually not far, not too far from the truth. Mm. You, you know, it's it's almost like it's almost like the the you know, uh, uh, you know, people are just gonna forget what games and what real games that actually people pay money for yeah. Yeah. look like. Yep, I agree. You know, like people yeah. that actually pay money to play what those games look like, mm -hmm. and and it's kind of ridiculous. You know, mm -hmm. they want to be taken seriously. Uh, that's I the mean, key. That's you, the have, key. you have to get serious about it. That's the key. I agree. And that's that's the that's the sort of the duplicitous nature of that whole conversation that always aggravates me is like you know, they they're people are on social media, they're on YouTube, and they're like they're making these grand stands where, you know, their art looks like it was drawn in paint and you know, it costs fifty and it was and it probably, probably. was. Yeah, and, and it and it costs like eight hundred dollars to play the game. I don't why like why what what like no wonder gamers hate blockchain. Why wouldn't you hate it? Like why wouldn't you hate it? Of course you're gonna hate it. I would have I would I hate it most of it. <laughs> right. In, like, <laughs> in, in in fairness, it's not it's not necessarily a, a blockchain you know, new to the blockchain, you have, yeah. I mean, if you've ever been in the Android and iOS ecosystem, mm -hmm. you know, this is essentially a carryover for that exactly, kind of yeah. pay to play, pay to win. Yep. Oh, yep. It's absolutely there, terrible. Yep. It's awful. It's awful. It's, it's, it's really stupid. And and really, I mean, in the end, you know, it's it's going to be, it, it's, it's going to kind of fade out, you know, like, like, like a yeah. fad. You're right. If, if the people don't get serious, if people don't do what you're doing, mm -hmm. you know, getting serious about it, getting serious about it, the game the game yep. play and 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 i really like what you say uh you, you know um uh what, what, what you say right you don't say play to earn you say play and earn mm -hmm. right that's right yeah that's right and that's right and it's just like yeah, little I, things it's I, little things like that that it's hard it's hard to change now it's hard to change that perception you guys know how perception is like you get that initial yeah. perception it's hard to change it so we got an uphill battle man we have an think, uphill battle I think with what you were talking about with Husky, you know, it struck um, a memory that was very pleasant. You know, I'm, I I was a bit of a gamer younger, but, you know, as family comes along, you feel a little guilty taking time mm -hmm. away in gaming. So it kind of goes down. But um, it reminded me of things that Nintendo and uh, maybe it was Activism do. I don't want to say Activism there, mm -hmm. you know, have some bad mm -hmm. words with them. Activision. <laughs> Activision. Mm -hmm. But um, um my son, we bought the series of Skylander games for my son, mm -hmm. you know, like one through, he was like the seventh version or something. And yeah. God damn it, you have to buy a portal every time. But we're playing like maybe fifth gen in and all of a sudden I'm like, hey, why don't we take, you know, we never thought of this. Why don't we take one of your first gen 
um, you know, from four or five years ago, one of your first gen items and throw it on the portal and see if you can play that character. Yeah. Sure enough, they've programmed every single character into every hmm. future game. So you can bring back these That's old, good. old characters. And what that does, you know, as somebody, it, it keeps, it retains the value and the appreciation for your, your NFT or your, mm -hmm. your physical object kind of thing. So as you're saying, you know, you may log into the game and all of a sudden, pops up these two cards that you got from this shit coin like Hosky, <laughs> you know, from that you may have bought yeah. three years ago and yeah. you didn't even realize it's it. You're like, like, wow. Damn, right. that's wow. really freaking cool. That's cool, know? right? That's what yeah. that's what you would yeah, say. Exactly. I think that's it. Yeah. I'm glad you said that. That's ex yeah. and that's the feeling I want to invoke in people. Like surprise, right? Like, whoa. Like that's crazy. Like I wonder how that works. And honestly, it's not that complicated. People just pretend that it is. And it's just because they they would rather keep it proprietary and 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 close source. But, and I want to make sure we talk about something before we get past it. Your Skylander example is so good. And the one thing I wish we could go back in time and correct is that perception. So let's say, let's use Skylander as an example. Is Skylander an online game or no? Before I, go. I, I think you can local co-op multiplayer. Local I don't know. If, All right. It's been a while since I played let's, online. With let's you. pretend that it is. All right. Let's pretend that it is for this example. Like in the newer, like, you know, Skylander 12 or whatever. It's online. And you have your account, like you've made a lot of progress. And unfortunately, the company that developed Skylander fails. All right. Well, in that instance, much like with old versions of World of Warcraft, old versions of many card games, old versions of really any game that any of you could ever think of whose server shut down, all your stuff is gone. And now, you know, with the blockchain, we have a chance to remedy that. But you need two things to happen. You need the blockchain and you need open source. You have to have both of those things. And people always forget that second one. If you have both, though, like Blitz will be. Like once I'm done with Blitz, anybody will, you'll have it all open, right? And like what? And yeah, I can be embarrassed about my code, but it'll be out there for your use. And the idea is, all right, I invested a lot of money in the Blitz. Mick made awful decisions about this game. I hate him now. I hate his decisions. I hate his balancing specifically. Like screw that guy. He doesn't know what he's doing. All right, great. You can go make your own version of Blitz, but you'll still reference the same tokens that I was referencing. Therefore, there could be 16 different versions of Blitz, all created by 16 different people, but you don't have to buy anything new because they still all point to the original assets. That's the beauty of the blockchain, and that's the beauty of open source. With those two things, if I mean, we would have just told gamers that, different, just man. how I said it, that's that's a big deal beginning. to it. Like Gamers feel that. I've lost accounts on World of Warcraft. I've lost items, thousands of gold. If you're telling me like I I wouldn't have had to lose all that shit, of course that's a good thing for me. I don't even care. Maybe I don't even care about blockchain. I don't care about blockchain at all, but it still doesn't matter because for me it's a good thing. Right? Like who cares? It's just like credit cards. You don't know how they work, but you still use them. Say it would be the same idea. But unfortunately, we didn't take that path. Sorry, I get very, as you can tell, that's where I get no, excited. No, no, it's, it's <laughs> listen, that, 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 that's fair. That's fair. It's actually, um, you know, my, I guess my gaming, uh, you know, stopped. Well, I mean, didn't stop, but really, I, you know, I stopped really mm -hmm. gaming back in what, like 2002, 2003. I was, I was actually, I got back into it for a little while with, uh, so, so talking about, you know, online mm -hmm. games and everything. The one that I got back into was, uh, I think, Civilization Five. Oh, nice! Uh, and it had this, yeah, it had online, and this is back in like 2006 or something like that. But you know, for me, I mean, like, the the this is the height of of gaming. Hey, bro! Right nice. here, very nice. Yes, it's very that's nice. a that's a genuine Fummy Kong, and uh, I'm a yeah, rapper. I also yeah. got me. Uh, I mean, I got I got me a bunch of stuff here. I got me uh, I got me one of these, you know. I got me one of these. Oh, here. I got one. I mean, you can see it on my back shelf, Dan, right back, right up there. You see it up there? That's a that's a three hundred and sixty. Oh, <laughs> tra trauma trauma from those Red Ring of Deaths. Yeah, I took to, a, I took yeah, a, yeah, put them in the oven. I, I took a circular Xbox. saw. You guys want to see some cool shit? Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I took a circular saw and I cut out the middle of it so you could see the disc spinning when I was like 13. <laughs> and I learned a lot about how these things work. Apparently, when the CD 
when you put the CD in, the tray actually goes down and then it rises back up. And there's this little sort of axle on the top of the CD drive that it sort of sits in. So when I did this, I found that thing and I realized when I circular sawed it out, it broke the very like millimeter, <laughs> you know, level precision that is necessary uh, for that thing to work. Anyways, uh, on the topic of Xbox 360, I guess my point here is I, I also like Xbox 360. <laughs> uh, well, what do, you, what do you think about this PlayStation right oh, here? Oh, cool, dude. Uh, so I haven't seen a PS2 it's, in it's, a long it's, time. It, it, it's transparent, yeah, it's translucent. A... Wow. Yeah, this is the blue edition. Yeah, I got nice. I got several of these. Wow. I got the regulars. I got a blue. I got a. I had a pink one, but I sold that one. No shit. Yeah, I, I, I collect. I collect these things. I got a. Uh, oh, so, so where where are you pulling these things speedy. from, Dan? Your ass. <laughs> Yo, I mean, he's just speak, pulling them right out. Wait a second. Ass. Wait a second. Speaking of saving your data, yeah, dude. Okay. All right. So, welcome to the Nintendo Disk System. Oh my god, oh, I, dude, that's wild, to me, bro. You're going back in time. You have like a fucking teleporter or something. This is terrifying. <laughs> You're, oh yeah, yeah, he's reaching into no, his know, dimensional actually, bag and just pulling things out. Like these, these things, these things, I, I, I fix them because a lot of them they have the same problem. The, uh, the internal mechanism goes. Oh yeah. The, uh, the spinner goes. Yeah, yeah, and it yeah. Gets yeah. Decalibrated. <laughs> yeah. So actually, I, I, I know how to fix these things. Yeah, that's so awesome. I fix them. <laughs> I yeah, love I got, that, got, bro. Like, that's so cool. Them. I like that we share something yeah, yeah. similar in that space. <laughs> that's really fun, actually. That's that's not everybody's that nerdy, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah here's uh, listen I, I even got the 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 coveted uh insert for the for the drive oh, wow. this is what they came with when they were brand new that's these cool, inserts dude that's I put really them in cool. there wow wow my my old my only old cool thing is this oh and and here's here's a disassembled one what you got Look at you two just whipping stuff out, man. Well, yeah, listen. Yeah, but th this is this is what they look like disassembled. The 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 Nintendo oh, the drive. The Nintendo drive. Nice. Uh. So listen, get, getting yeah. back, getting back to what we were talking about before he took us all on this on this uh you know uh <laughs> tangent of uh you know of of the days of the old. Yeah. I you know, I I, I really uh, like I said, I really like the thinking. You know, I really like this thinking. Mm -hmm um of you know utilizing blockchain where it fits yes. and where it makes sense that's right. not forcing it on people that's right because we're so excited about that's right that's the key and, dude and, and really that yeah and, and that that's the concept that you use you know and that, that that's what i really really appreciate about about what you're doing yeah um Thanks. and so i mean so what like what do you what do you think or what do you see the I guess the future, right? So, like, say, fast forward one year. Mm -hmm. Where's Blitz? What is Blitz doing? And yeah. what do you measure as Blitz's success during that time? Yeah, that's a good question. I've, I've also, I've often still do reflect about what I consider success. Honestly, at this point, the biggest success would be the fact that we made a dent in the perception that the broader let's just call it the internet has uh, about gaming and blockchain. That's a lofty goal. And unfortunately, um, the fact of the matter is there's very few people like me out there doing what I'm trying to do. That's that's just the truth. It's not an ego thing. It's just fact. Um, not many people yeah. uh, think the way I, I do um, with regards, at least to monetary incentives, not monetary incentivized at all. It oftentimes comes back to bite me, but I'm really not. Um, so for me, success, success is I want to launch this thing. I want to be able to tell a story about how I taught myself from scratch, which is true, how to do all of this. Um, I'd never coded before, before starting Blitz. Uh, so it was a, a heavy, heavy learning curve. I do come from a very technical background, to be fair, but I want to have that story. I want to have that story. I want to have that accomplishment. You can think of it like a bucket list item to say I designed the released an online multiplayer game. And hopefully through that process, I will have also improved the perception of the blockchain. So in a year, in a year, Blitz will be released for certain. Um, it probably will be in like an alpha stage still at that point, still getting refined animations being added. Hopefully 
Um, we were able to receive some revenue so that I can put it towards expanding my team, like bringing on more developers, bringing on animators. That that would be my dream. Um, but I don't, you know, I, I'm not so optimistic to to think that is likely, but I, I hope it to happen. Um, and then, you know, a new goal uh, that this will be the first time I've, I've spoken about it openly is oftentimes with these games, you, you all will, will understand what I'm saying here, I think. You have the game assets on the blockchain, but then they also release this thing called a token, a gaming token, like a proper currency in the game. Um, so for Gods Unchained, it's called Gods. For uh, Blitz, it might be called Blitz. This makes sense. So this token, when when companies release this, they have one goal in mind usually, and that is to make the early investors back their money and more, which is why you have these initial coin offerings where some amount of those coins are sold all at the start. There's nothing natively wrong with that so i'm not trying to you know pick pick fights or argue about the the integrity of it because sometimes a project needs that to survive i understand that sometimes you need funds um sometimes you had to get investors to make something unique that's okay however however if you don't need that you can do something really cool and i've been working with a couple economists because i've realized i'm not smart enough to figure this out um and I've been working with people like LGD now to put pen to paper. And that is what I'm calling right now proof of burn. And it's not like it's its new its own blockchain consensus algorithm. But let me just give you an example. Say you you bought a pack of Blitz cards and you got five cards and two of them were duplicates. You could go to the open market and sell that and you know maybe get some Ergo, maybe get some SIG USD. Or if it's like not worth that much, you could burn it for some Blitz tokens. That's not a novel concept. That happens a lot for a lot of these bigger games out there on, in the blockchain. But what if, what if instead of having an ICO that created all those coins up front, that you only created them when the card was burned? So the starting supply is zero. And as you burn cards, more of that supply is input into the ecosystem. And so the max supply is theoretically if everybody were to burn every Blitz card in existence. And then you can do some pretty cool stuff with this. So what if you kind of programmed it like Bitcoin, which is actually pretty easy? So let's say after the first 100,000 cards are burned, the Blitz rewards for that rarity of card go down by a half. And then after 200,000 cards are burned, it decreases by half again. The reason this is not done, and I know it has not been done, at least for my research uh, and to my knowledge, is because this is definitely not a greed-centric mindset. In fact, uh, it's not good for, for, the, for me that like, there would be a better way for me to make money, certainly. Um, I like I will lose money doing this, but what it does do is create something that I've never seen, and that is a closed loop economy where the currency is directly tied to the game itself, the game assets themselves, and nothing else. So nobody really knows what will happen. I've spoken to a few people, and it's kind of weird to think about. So you can kind of conceptualize this self and yourselves and kind of think through the implications. There's some numbers we have to figure out to make sure it works at the start. But uh, the premise of it's interesting. So I'll leave you with that. I haven't, again, I haven't spoken to anybody out loud about this yet. So you're the first two to hear it and, and who, anybody that makes it this far in the video. But it's, um, I'm excited about that, dude. It's going to be interesting. <laughs> at the very least, it'll be interesting. That's a very cool concept. <laughs> yeah, man. That, that, is, that is a very cool concept. I really like that. And uh, yeah, I, actually, I'd love to see the tokenomics for that. Right, because right. Because steal some of that. I don't know. And nobody knows because nobody, nobody fucking like, <laughs> excuse me, like nobody knows <laughs> what happened. Because, you know, no one's ever going to burn all the cards because there will certainly be cards that are worth more than what they cost to burn. So you can't you that that's not feasible. Like there might be a point at which somebody tries to burn a ton of cards at once, but even then they would have had to purchase those cards either from packs or from other players. So 
if they try to tank the price as they're selling their tokens, they're actually going to lose money themselves because they had already bought the cards for a previous price. So it actually prevents bad actors natively just by the fact that it's closed loop, right? Like you can't, you have to stay kind of within that ecosystem. Technically, you'll be able to trade Blitz for Ergo or SIG USD. Um, so that adds another layer of complexity that I'm not ready to address yet. But uh, even just thinking about the Blitz ecosystem, it's uh, it's kind of cool, man. <laughs> who, who knows? So no, it's it it's it's very cool. It's very cool. I really like. Is there that. an unlimited number of cards? I mean, are you no, gonna? There's not. No, there's not. So yeah. So there's fix... there's a fixed number of cards. So like each set, let's just say a million packs will be minted. Maybe five hundred thousand for Ergo, two hundred fifty thousand for Cardano, two hundred fifty thousand for Nova Rose, and whoever else wants their their shot at a hosting Blitz. Um. All right, well, that's at most 5 million cards for the first set. At most. Bar none. That's the max. There'll never be more. Um, so then there'll be additional sets, and there'll be, you know, just like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I'm going to do first edition and unlimited edition, where first edition, it'll be super limited, which that's what how card games typically make profit. Like, that's the business model they use. Um, I don't see any reason to change that, so that's why I'm, why I'm replicating it. Uh, I don't think you have to think too hard about it. It's worked for a really long time. Um, so yeah, then there'll be a second set. Okay, so maybe I introduce a million more packs. Uh, but this, you know, the theoretical like box of Blitz tokens will probably just be the maximum that it will allow us to put in there. So whatever, you know, how many, ever many, like two to the 63rd power or something Blitz tokens. So that box will never run out. But the theoretical max supply will only ever be the you know x number of cards times x number of blitz they're worth equals max supply assuming they're all burnt again i've never heard anything like it i'd love for people in the comments to challenge that uh but i i have i've been in the blockchain a long time i'm sure both of you have been exposed to i've i've never heard of anything like what what i'm proposing here so it should be interesting at the very least yeah yeah totally totally it's it, you know it's just, I, I, you know, every time, every time we speak, Mick, um, I, you know, I love your thinking, you know, because, well, it's, it's actually along the lines of, yeah, man. of, of my thinking, um, about a lot of these things. And I'm really glad that there's somebody like you out there in the space that is really, you know, setting these things right. Because like I said, I am, I like gaming, but yep. I'm just I'm dissatisfied with with the games that are out there uh, yep. that are utilizing the blockchain, the reasons for utilizing the blockchain, uh, the you know just just what they feel is adequate, even adequate and not great, yep. but adequate enough to put out there. Yep. I mean, it, you know, it just looks like a cash grab most of the time, and that's really what it is most of the time. Yep. And I mean. I think the gaming industry could benefit quite a bit from from utilizing the blockchain, but it's yeah. just and just like with a lot of yeah. things yep. um, that the blockchain is being used for right now um, is just is just not where you know it's it's not really where mass adoption is going to happen. Yeah, and it's not going to happen because you force blockchain down somebody's throat. It's going to happen because it just makes sense to use yeah. blockchain here. Um, and 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 that's that's absolutely the way the the, the way that uh, the way that we have to start thinking as an industry for us to be really kind of taken seriously yes. by the masses. Exactly, dude. That's exactly right. Yep. So you you have I mean, ergo experiences with a, with an uphill battle too. With you know, mm -hmm. no VCs, no ability to do that. Nope. With, with um uh with things like meme coins, you know, and and um pay to play pay to win games you have a, a specific recipe a specific formula that they figured out and that is mm -hmm. you have the whales come in create create demand create excitement and then the little you know lampreys or whatever those little fish are that come in and eat up the little goods yeah. bring some more income there so how, how, how do you envision to fight that uphill battle without that kind of offering, without that kind of mindset mm -hmm. where you you don't care and you're just going to have somebody spend $50,000 on a couple NFTs to get into your game and bring up the excitement where that, you know, that's not possible with your game? Yeah, it's it's with um, it's with quality and passion, man. And that's and it might not be enough. Right. Like that's that's the frank truth. That's the truth that I face when I do this. Um, and and unfortunately, 
there will be marketing. Like I have a budget towards marketing, like YouTube, social media. We make use of all that pretty well, I think. But at the end of the day, um, if passion and quality isn't enough to make people want to invest in Blitz and play the game, uh, then it was probably never a good game to begin with. And to me, that would be okay. I would just accept that the way it was. You know, you, I'm sure you've read books in the first 10 pages that you put down and you don't pick up again. And that's okay. Um, for me, for me, I think success at this point really does mean making something I'm proud of, making something that people can use as a reference or a different way of thinking. Uh, maybe, you know, long term, if my my vision ends up being adopted for some of this stuff, we see, you know, Blitz's characters living in other people's games. Because again, they can. There's no reason yeah. Margot can't live in your fighting game. And you can just say, oh, you got a Margot token? Great. That's how you unlock this character. Like, enjoy her. Um, and I might not even know who the hell that person is because it'll, you know, it's all open. That's a, that to me is a beautiful thing. How, how rewarding for a creator to give people the opportunity to make their characters and their, you know, their world almost permanent. Like how, like how cool is that, man? Um, and that's what I want. You know, I, I want to set this, I want to set that foundation and, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But if it does, I, I actually think it'll be it'll be something that like honestly hasn't been seen before. And that gets me excited. So that, that's what keeps me going is just the opportunity to do something um, that hasn't been done. So we'll see. Well, man. You know, I, I, I think I think that really success is and, and it's not always the same for everybody. Mm -hmm. But I think for you, success is being able to um you know crystallize and 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 to really materialize your vision yes. uh for this game because your your vision is just it's 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 so um you know it, it it's so big it's so robust and really it, it it's 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 all it's also you know you say well if nobody plays it you know at least they did it well First of all, I'm you know some somebody's gonna play. <laughs> yeah, you know it's it's yeah. it's it's too it's too great. It, it's just too, it's it's just too beautiful. It's it, the, the, there's no way it's going to be ignored. Yeah. That that's just yeah. my opinion. Even if it is though, even if it is in some mm -hmm. in some bizarro world of where Blitz does not succeed. Yep. You know, it's like that. It's like that Frank Sinatra song. I did it my way. Yeah. It, you you did it. You did it your way, mm -hmm. and you you still have that. You know, you you, you did. You you created your it, what you visualized. Yep. You finished it. You know, and, and maybe it's not going to be appreciated right away. Maybe it's going to yep. take some years to be appreciated. Yeah, you know, right. it's just like just like fine art, for example. Yep. Um. Yep. It, it it might be you know it might gain a cult following ten years from yep. from now. It happens and, sometimes. You know, it happens sometimes. You know, when yeah. when when Mick when Mick Dan and QX are working at Wendy's <laughs> right, and just right. you know because blockchain didn't work out. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, we bought um, too many meme coins. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We just yeah we just we just uh, just just rode that market all the way down, and <laughs> yeah. you know now we have to work for minimum wage. You know, and but then you see on TV, it's like hey, Blitz. Yeah. You know, Blitz is the new thing. Everybody's picking up Blitz, and uh, Mick is gonna say, "Hey, that's awesome! Now mm -hmm. let me get these fries for you." Right, right, right. You want you want a uh, soda with that or what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> would, would you like Would you like Coke or Diet Coke with that, <laughs> sir or ma'am? Mick, what? Um, wh <laughs> anyway, where can people jump in? Where can people find out how to um, test your game? How to play around with it? What, what What's the best avenue in? And yeah. direct access to you too. Yeah, direct access to me is through Discord. We have something like 400 members now, relatively active when stuff is happening. We had this awesome playtest event that I recorded and posted to YouTube where uh, five or six of the Ergo community actually downloaded Blitz and we all played it together to try to shake out some of the initial bugs. It's a very early, like hardly working version of the game. But I tell you what, you know, I've already code it more than some projects ever do before they release anything right so like in my game you, you you can literally play a game of blitz right now there's nothing that really happens but like dan and i could queue up and we would be matched together and we could play a full game and then start up another one uh so that's what we did like i like you can actually see that on youtube real people playing the game for what it is today um 
it's fun, man. That's that's where you can come hang out with me is Discord and you can get new game builds and help us try to break it. Uh, but you know, the best thing you could do for the project, I always like to tell people this, the best thing you could do to the project um, is just support it on the social platforms. That's the best kind of marketing we have for a video game and really any video game in general is social media. So if you're on Reddit, Twitter, uh, we're on LinkedIn, we're all basically on all the big socials. If you're on any of those, you see something from Blitz, you know, give it a like, give it a retweet, do, do anything you can um, in your power to support the project. And uh, I will, sh I will genuinely appreciate it. And that's absolutely what we will do. And uh, yeah, I just hope that everybody watching um, and everybody really who gets a chance to, 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 to check out Blitz really can appreciate for what it is and to really, you know, to support because that's what it's all about. I mean, mm -hmm. we're, we're a decentralized community, uh, ergo we're, de we're a decentralized community, you know, Cardano as well. We're pretty yep. damn decentralized. Yep. And so really it is all about the community. It's yep. all about the community. Um, and so, um, you know, and again, there's something that I said the other day, you know, decentralization means not to have like the boots of a couple of people at the top to succeed in the ecosystem. Yep. And that's exactly what we need to do. We need to, we need to utilize our ecosystem. We need to utilize our resources as a community and support the projects that that really deserve it and not mm -hmm. let a couple of people at the top decide who you know uh, who succeeds and who fails you know we don't need freaking kingmakers here you yeah. know it's just it's it's that, that's not what it's about um yeah so listen mick it was awesome to have you on again yeah, you know i'm really really glad that this this game is still progressing you that that blitz is 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 evolving it's it's, it's the you got all this cool stuff coming up you got you got new art um mm -hmm. i'm I'm just super excited in fact i am going to download it after this and yeah, see man. if i can you know <laughs> play around a little bit play the game check it out and yeah. uh, see what's what's new with it because uh, like i said man I, I just love it i just i just love the just love the feel of it i love the kind of the feeling that it gives me uh sending me back to my old school gaming yeah, days man. of uh you know of, of the sierras <laughs> you know the sierra games and then then all that all that good stuff yeah, and man. um listen all all the best to you thank you very much for coming in ergo pulse once again um we would love to have you back yeah. anytime please let us know uh if, if you got any other big updates we'll get you back on here you know just like that and and um this year nft xlv mm -hmm. uh, or formerly known as cnft con um uh, yeah mick is gonna be there yeah. right mick yes. so yeah just uh make you know put it in your calendar if you want to if you want to meet, meet the man meet the legend and uh maybe check out some some blitz stuff in the flesh so to speak yeah uh you know come on down to vegas and um you know um get involved please yeah that'd be great awesome it was great to meet you all right yeah QX. um I'm, I'm gonna try to join dan and and download that game and test it out yeah i've poked, poked around in some other games but uh honestly blitz was a little too daunting for my time so yeah, yeah. But, it's early it's early but it's, <laughs> it's early it's yeah, fun. yeah yeah, we, yeah we got, you guys got time it out. you got time right. that's good that's fantastic well thanks so much guys yeah thank you both thanks a lot thanks a lot hey and everybody thanks for watching thank you mick Thank you, QX, and we will see you soon.